Are you the new owner of a Hyundai Ioniq 5? Then stay tuned to today's video because I'm gonna tell you my top eight accessories that one should buy for their Hyundai Ioniq 5. So I get asked this question all the time from new owners, what cool accessories can I get? I'm gonna let you guys know today what my favorites are that I've been using with my Ioniq 5 for the past 18 months. Let's start out with windshield wipers. So I'll be completely honest with you guys, the stock OEM windshield wipers that come with this car, they absolutely suck. So do yourself a favor, get some good high quality windshield wipers. I used Bosch Icons for about a year and I have actually recently switched to Rain-X Silicone Endura wiper blades and I wanted to test out a different brand. I've used Rain-X in the past on previous cars and I always liked them. And I gotta say, I really like these as well. They're a very high quality silicone based blade. They're gonna wear really well. They'll probably last you at least a year. So definitely check those out. Links in the description. The next accessory I think every Ionic 5 driver should have is a dash cam and you can't really see it because of the glare, but trust me, it's there. And my pick is going to be the Fit Cam X, which is an OEM style dash cam. So you remove the plastic shroud from the car, slide this new one in place, and it houses a 4K dash cam with Wi-Fi capability so you can capture clips directly to your phone in case of emergency. So I've been using it for about six months. I've had zero issues with it. Luckily, I haven't had to use it in case of an accident, so that's been good. All in all, I think it looks great. It doesn't block the passenger's view by having one mounted up here in their line of sight. And all around, just a super easy installation. You don't have to run any wires throughout the cabin as long as you have an SEL or limited trim car. With the SE trim here in the United States, you will have to run a wire to the fuse panel underneath the driver's left knee. But if you're looking for a dash cam, I really think this is the one to get. Another accessory I really recommend is one of these silicone license plate brackets. I really like these. They don't rattle around on the car like some of the cheap plastic ones you get directly from the dealership when you buy a car through them. This one is nice and rubbery. I've actually been using this one specifically for about four years. It's holding up well. There's no degradation of it or anything. And all around, it's just a nice clean look. It's also gonna prevent any scratches from forming on the back bumper here. So that's some extra peace of mind. I hate the dealer plates with the ugly white lettering on them. I don't like to represent the dealership in any way, shape, or form on my car. They've gotten enough money from me. So go ahead and get yourself a nice silicone license plate bracket for your Ionic 5. So the next accessory I think every Ionic 5 owner should have should be these little USB lights. And these are really cool. They add some light to the center console here as well as behind the center console. And there's a little button on top. And if you press that button, you can cycle through a whole plethora of different colors. And what's also really nice is they are light sensitive. So during the day, they do not illuminate, but the second the sun goes down, they turn on and they just provide a little bit of extra ambiance in the cabin and also some utility light for this section here because there is no built-in light here from the factory and it can be a little bit dark unless you've turned these overhead lights on. And even still, I think it's a nice little extra touch. You can also do like color coordination, kind of similar to what the Ionic 6 offers where you can have a different color in the lower section of the door and a different color in the upper section of the door. So I would check these out. So these are really nice. You can get like a four pack for like 12 bucks. So I would highly recommend these. I've had no issues with them since I got them 18 months ago. And since we're already in the car, let's talk about my next recommendation, which is get yourself a nice set of all weather floor mats. In my case here, I'm using the Liner X floor mats and they're a relatively new company to the floor mat space, but I gotta tell you, I really like these floor mats. They find a nice medium between being soft, but also hard at the same time so that when you pull them out, if there is liquid in them, they're not gonna deform and spill it all over the carpet after you lift them up. I also am really a big fan of the Tux mats. I ran those for a few months. Those are much nicer looking than the Liner X in my opinion. They have more of a premium vibe to them. So if you're looking for a premium floor mat, I think Tux mat is definitely the way to go. If you strictly want utility, I think Liner X is the next best thing. But there are other floor mats from other companies. Best EV Mod makes their own floor mats. There's also 3D Max Spider, which makes a nice set. So you have plenty of options. If you're loyal to a specific brand, you can obviously also stick with them. I know a lot of people are big fans of WeatherTech. I personally am not, but I'll leave links to all the floor mats in the description so you can kind of shop around and pick which ones you like the most. But I also have a bunch of reviews on the various floor mats if you're interested. 
So the next accessory I highly recommend any Ionic 5 owner have is a V2L adapter. In my case, this is the official Hyundai V2L adapter. And what it allows you to do is to plug into the exterior outlet of your car. And then underneath here, you will find a standard 115 volt outlet. And this can supply up to 1800 watts to any appliance you want. And in my case, I've actually used it to back up my circuit breaker panel in my home and I can run a good chunk of my home just from this and with a 77 and a half kilowatt hour battery pack that means I can power my house for almost five days and during the colder months I can even power my boiler and keep my house warm so this could be a real lifesaver in the event that you have a power outage for an extended period of time now this one here can be had on various Hyundai dealership websites, but there is also a third party made by a company called Lectron, which is available on Amazon at the link in the description, but it does basically the exact same thing as Hyundai's official, and it's a little bit cheaper, so that might be the more budget option if you don't think you're gonna use it all that often. But if you want the really high-end version of the V2L adapter, I think the Hyundai version is the best way to go. And while we're over here at the charge port, if you're somebody who frequents hotels or restaurants that have Tesla destination chargers, and you wanna take advantage of that sweet free charging, then you're probably gonna to wanna to get an adapter so that you can use Tesla chargers on your Ionic 5. Now, this here is the Tesla Tap Mini, and this is the best Tesla to J1772 adapter on the market. I highly recommend them. I've taken a look at competitors. Nobody stacks up to Tesla Tap. And it's super simple to use. I made a whole video about it. You can check that out at the link in the description. But you basically take your Tesla connector, plug it into this adapter, wait a few seconds, and then you can go ahead and plug this into the car. And once that's done, the car will begin charging. Super simple, and you can take advantage of all those free Tesla destination chargers across the country. The next accessory I'm gonna to recommend to you guys is a good level two EVSC or charger for your car. So here I have the Autel Maxi Charger. I recently reviewed it. It's my new go-to recommendation for a level two charger. It's affordable, it's feature packed, it's high quality. I really like it. I've had no issues with it. The app works fantastically. So if you're into watching data for how your car's charging, this is definitely the EVSC to get. Comes with a three year warranty. It's got a 25 foot cable, so you can really stretch it out across your garage if you need to. Of course, if you drive a little bit like 30 miles per day, you can get by with the supplied level one EVSC that comes with the car that you can just plug into a standard household outlet. Not everybody needs a level two, but for many homes, you might need to do a whole panel upgrade and able to accommodate a level two charger. So that's why you can always rely on a level one charger as well. There are many state incentives through their local utilities that allow you to get level two chargers for basically next to nothing. So it's almost a no brainer if you can get one of these with an incentive for maybe one, $200. But overall, it's a nice high quality, reliable level two charger for your Ionic 5. Now last, but certainly not least, is a shameful plug by myself for the products that I make and sell on my store. And the first thing is going to be this cup holder and larger that allows a large 40 ounce cup to fit into the cup holders of the Ionic 5. Obviously, this is gonna to be too big for the standard size cup holder. So I custom designed this, I 3D print it. So this will fit most 32, 40 ounce water bottles from like say Hydro Flask that have a three and a half inch diameter. They should fit in here perfectly. Nalgene bottles will not work. I might have one of those coming out in the near future. But if you like to stay hydrated and you like these big water bottles, check out this. And the other product is going to be my magnetic eyewear holder that simply clips on the dashboard right here. And you can take your sunglasses and just keep them there within arm's reach at all times. Like the cup holder, I designed and 3D print this myself. It's available in a bunch of colors. It's also available in a two-tone design so you can swap around colors as you please. And people really love it. I've sold well over 700 of these, so they're all over the place. It's really cool to know that I have an international product that people all over the world are enjoying. So join the hundreds of other satisfied owners and pick up an Ionic 5 magnetic eyewear holder for yourself. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. Again, all the links to all these products are in the description below. I'll also leave a link to a playlist down below with all the reviews of many of these products seen in today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying your new car, and if you've already owned it for a long time, Maybe you found something new in today's video. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.